My next guest released her debut album, I Used to Think I Could Fly, last year, and is currently soaring across North America on her Are We Flying tour. Please welcome singer, songwriter, and dancer, Tate McRae. <laughs> so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, okay, so you live in LA, right? Yes. So, but you're from Calgary, a Calgary uh -huh. girl. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome home to Canada. Thank you. We, we brought the rain for you today. I know, Yeah. I love it. Okay, amazing. That's great. That's awesome. So, I am so, so thrilled for you. You are on tour right now. Mm -hmm. um, first thing I have to ask, because I just need to know, do you have a rider and what is your favorite tour snack? Guys, my, <laughs> my rider is so bad. I wish I had like an interesting, like, I've heard like all the crazy like rider stories. Yeah. Like, there's like white M and M's or like they've like really. Mine's so boring. I'm I'm boring like, too. I want to hear what yours my is. My mom kind of like picked it out for me. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, you need to be healthy on tour. Yeah. So it's like weird healthy crackers. I do not touch them. Like, <laughs> They're there it's, like, though. Like turkeys. It's just like not cute. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I usually like if I. It's like a good show day. We'll like get Flaming Hot Cheetos. Oh, that's... <laughs> I'll be like, bring these backstage. Do you want to know what my secret is? I like Flaming Hot Cheetos and I use it as a seasoning on other things. That's smart. You crunch them up and put them on. It's a wow. delicious little spicy snack. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm like a cheese string person. Okay. So I also have a terrible choice as well in terms of like riders and stuff. Cheese string. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. Um, so you actually started out though dancing, correct? Yes. So when you were 13, you were on So You Think You Can Dance. Yep. And you kind of took that world by storm. But then you quickly, after that, when you were 14, had a totally viral hit, which is amazing, in the music industry. So yeah. what's the difference between kind of performing when you're, when you're dancing versus performing as, as a musician now? Oh, it's so different. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like I've like, lived like nine different lives because they're just such different like worlds. Yeah. Like, I thought I was gonna grow up and become like a backup dancer. Yeah. So it's just like weird to like be on the other side of that a little totally. bit. Um, but yeah, it's it's a totally different feeling. I think being on stage as a performer, it's all about like the people you're looking at and the fans. Yeah. And like hearing them scream back at you, like that's where you get your energy. Yeah. Whereas like as a dancer, you're, you're like performing more. It's more like you're feeding it out. Yeah. A hundred percent. So it's just like totally different like muscles that I have to like train to like figure out how to like become a, a singer now. Is there one that you enjoy more or is it more just kind of it's just a different kind of exercise for you it's different yeah I love them both I dance like on stage as much as I can without getting like so out of breath yeah <laughs> just, like... I honestly can't believe anybody who can dance and sing at the same time yeah Beyonce. yeah, yeah exactly at the Beyonce. end of list Beyonce she did it nobody else could try yeah yeah that's honestly amazing it's so impressive seeing how much you've accomplished. And you're on tour right now, am I yes. right? How's that going? It's going so good. Good! Um, just like sold out, super cool. The, the fans are so loud. Like some nights I can't even like hear myself in my mic, yeah. which is like so crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're on like our sixth show tonight, second night at the History, which will be fun. That's amazing. Such yeah. a great venue too. So fun. It's really, really amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Are you going to Calgary at all on this tour? <laughs> or do you ever go home or? I like refuse to play a hometown show. Why? Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, I've got an older brother. Oh, God, yeah. So like imagining just like my brother and his like friends <laughs> <laughs> in the audience just sounds like like literal torture. Yeah. <laughs> um, but maybe one day I'll like show up at Stampede or something. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that'd be amazing. <laughs> I, I, think I, so I too. think it's so cool too. I, I heard you talk about in another interview, talk about how when you grew up in Calgary, not a lot of people um, were doing the arts and stuff yeah. like that. And that you kind of felt like you were kind of the odd one out. Totally. When you were doing that. Yeah. What do you say to people who are kind of trying to, to get out there and, and feeling a little bit like the odd one out? Um, I say this a lot. I think the biggest thing that will hold you back is thinking that things are like cringy yeah. or embarrassing. Um, I think like even in middle school and high school, like I remember getting so like, people were so weirded out by I was like posting like videos of like songs and I remember people like talking about me because of that and I was just like, if I would have thought then like this is so embarrassing, mm -hmm. this is so cringy, like I never would have been like, being able to be on tour and like living my dream right now. So I think that would 
be like the biggest thing that I would say is for like people who are like trying to do is just like put yourself out there and, and do it. Like, yeah. No one really cares. No. No. And you might make a huge impact on somebody in totally. what you're doing. That's yeah. amazing. So yeah. your your first track on your debut studio album, I used to think I could fly, is a is a voice memo. Uh huh. And it kind of speaks to what you just said. Yeah. Where you're talking about when you were young. Mm hmm you weren't scared of anything. You could yeah. think you could fly, you could do anything. And then you get older and you start getting these insecurities and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So why was it important for you to start that album with that voice memo? Um, I think the title just had a really, I've been wanting to name one of my albums I used to think I could fly for so long. Yeah. Because I've, like when I was younger, like I literally was convinced I could like take an umbrella and like fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think it's just like um, metaphorically like, the idea of just like getting older and the more you're exposed to, I feel like the more fears you get, the more you realize, I think like you get smacked in the face with the reality a little bit. Yeah. And I feel like that's what my en entire album kind of like captures. Yeah. Is like moving out to LA when I was 17 and like feeling like I got hit by the world. Yeah. For the first time um, and like growing up like that. So I feel like that was really important for me to like make my whole tour about it, my whole album about it and obviously start with the voice memo. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so, so cool. Now, I have Thank a you. real quick question. Do you want to play a real quick game with me? <laughs> yes. I'm obsessed with the fact that your fans know themselves as Tater Tots. Uh -huh. I think that's an excellent name. Um, so we've got a little game here called Tater Tot or Not. Okay. Um, so if you agree with the statement, uh -huh. say Tater Tot. Okay. And if you don't, not. Okay. Okay. Um, pineapple on pizza. Not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm a tot are on you, that one. Are you I'm a, a hard tot. Wow. I love pineapple on pizza. I know okay. it's trash. It's okay. delicious. <laughs> um, karaoke. Um, tater tot. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Awesome. Having an encore at the end of your concert. Tater tot. Yes. For sure. Now, how long do you leave for? Because we all know you're coming back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Okay. I test it every night. Oh, I like this. I'm kind of like, ooh, I wonder what this crowd's going to do. Let's hear what they're doing. I love that. Yeah. Amazing. Driving in LA. Um... Tater tot now. I just started driving. Congratulations. Thank you. That's so exciting. I had to, I had to retake my test in LA. Okay. Because my Calgary license didn't transfer over. Oh, okay. Um, failed the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Got it the second time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like much better now that I can drive. Amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, um, what about, you have a new single, Greedy. Yes. So excited. So what about being greedy, tater tot or not? Uh, not. Oh. Um, I don't not think... Not even a little greedy? I mean, it, like, depends what. Yeah. I don't think I'm too greedy of a person. No. I don't think I, like, need things. Mm -hmm. Or, like, like... I don't even, like... You feel like you're a giving person. Yeah, you're like... Yeah, uh, I'm, like, greedy. Like, yeah. that's how I imagine it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I feel like not. Okay. Yeah. Honestly? Yeah. I like it. I'm gonna convince yeah. you that pineapple on pizza is delicious, though. <laughs> Will you? Yeah. I don't know. That's my you. next goal in life. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, perfect. Hey, thank you so, so much for being here. That was amazing. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.